So, this video is probably going to be boring for a lot of you guys, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but every year, well, for the past two years, I've wanted to make have eggnog throughout the year, and I get busy making my treats and forget to freeze dry just some regular eggnog so that I can reconstitute it and drink it during the year. So this year, I am not going to do that. But I am going to do a little twist with this. If you've watched any of my videos, you've noticed that I do like to use milk nog. And the reason I like to use milk nog is because it makes a much airier product after freeze drying. If we freeze dry regular eggnog, it can be quite hard. So we are going to try and make an eggnog that will reconstitute very easily. And uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to use milk nog, but I'm going to make my own this time, which is a half regular eggnog and half milk. Now that's going to accomplish two things. During the year, if I want a thinner milk nog, milky nog, which is I do like to drink, then I can add more water. But if I want a really thick eggnog, I just add less water and it'll be a nice thick eggnog and I'm going to be doing these in pint jars so the, the jar will be the glass so if I did just straight eggnog I'm not confident without busting up my discs which I don't want to do I want to try and redo it where I can put the single discs in the in the jar uh, I'd have a difficult time rehydrating it but we're going to make it fluffy and airy by adding the milk. So hopefully that makes sense. I can have it both ways. If I just put, let's see, a pint holds two cups. So if I put, roughly speaking, uh, two cups of water to my pint jar with four discs in it, that would make me two cups of milky nog. However, if I put one cup of water with my four discs, that would make me basically a thick eggnog. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, follow me along and I'll, I'll show you how that's going to work out, I hope. So, I'm going to do a real simple thing here. I'm going to open these up. I want to get this done before it, it disappears off the shelves. So that's two quarts of normal eggnog and then I want to put two quarts of milk and I use two percent milk all right we just give that a good mix and I can assure you they sell this just like that and it's called milk nog and it is very nice to drink very nice okay kept going in and out of focus on my monitor here I don't know if that was doing it on the video or not hopefully we've got that sorted so, I'm just going to fill each of these discs with my what is now milk nog. Each disc is four ounces or half a cup. Four cups. Per tray. Don't overload your trays. And I should make make a note. I use these discs. I've kind of strayed away from them because a lot of people don't realize these discs are very thick. So the freeze dryer might tell you that they are done and they're not done because they're so thick. You've always got to run extra time on these. And the way to tell if they're done is take a disc and break it in half and see if the center is not cold after when it when it's complete I run my stuff 40 hours all the time just because of my work schedule so I don't really have to do that but if you don't want if you're trying to get it done in 24 hours which I see a lot of people doing things then you definitely want to open these discs up and make sure they're done all the way through ideally you would put them not use the, the mold you'd use the tray use your nice dividers which you can get but I want to display these in my 16 or 
one pint jar jars so we're going to use the discs okay so I'm going to do the rest of these off camera get them all frozen solid put eight discs per tray which is the weight limit and then we'll get them in the freeze dryer I'll show you when they come out of the freezer before I put them in the freeze dryer I'll see you then okay these have been freezing overnight just want to make it sure that you guys have, I tell you that these are thick discs you do not want to overload these trays. I could squeeze more on there, but you want to keep these trays at two and a half pounds, and you should anticipate a very long run on these because of the thickness. I'll do them at least 40 hours. So, I'm going to fire up Big Red and get these in and get them freeze dried. Next time you see them, they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer. Okay, there we have it. My beautiful freeze dried eggnog. And now I don't have to wish I had some during the summer, because I'll have some put away. So what I have here is uh, nine one-pint jars, and I am going to drop four of these discs in each jar. Now I let these freeze dry for about 42 hours. It said it was done a lot earlier than that, but these are really thick, so you have to be careful. And I want to make sure that it was done all the way through, so we did 42 hours. Okay, so we got them all jarred up. Now I'm going to go back and put a 300cc O2 absorber in each jar. sure that your uh, O tubes orbit don't interfere with the seal as you're doing that okay so I'm going to vacuum seal these jars off camera I use a vacuum chamber and if you look through my videos uh, and you want to see how I do it because I'll vacuum seal these all in one go using the vacuum chamber but the video I think is sealing 16 pint jars of milk with the vacuum chamber or something like that but it's a real simple process and done in minutes so I'm gonna get these sealed up and then we'll do a, a taste test I'll see you in a minute okay I won't bore you but I tried reconstituting these discs and they just didn't work they came out lumpy not what I was looking for so I'll just cut that out and we'll do another one. I'm going to show you how we're going to redo these, reconstitute these. I'll have to repackage all the other ones, but we're just going to do my. We're just going to do my roller pin and get those into a powder and we'll package them that way it was a good idea but I don't want lumpy eggnog But still, by adding that milk to this, that makes it a lot easier to crunch up. If that was just pure 100% eggnog, I'd probably have to use a blender to get that fine powder. So, all wasn't a loss, in my opinion. Get this as fine a powder as I can. And put this back in the jar. And 
And yes, I know I could have got a funnel and made a prettier job of that, but I'm just lazy. still would present pretty well as a gift I think or just store very well like that with my lid on it but one thing I did find out is the rehydration and I was happy with adding so that's four pucks I was happy with adding one cup of cold water So I can make room for the rest of that water, and then we'll give it a shake. All right, let's put our lid on. say to reconstitute shake vigorously for about a minute and there you have it that should be a nice consistency let's see yeah that's not bad Flavor's perfect. Still a little bit of powder on the top. But I bet if I wanted to leave that set for a while, I'd probably get that little bit left over. But that is a delicious drink. I just love my eggnog but you can see on the edges there see that right there a little bit lumpy but come June <laughs> when it's nice and hot outside you want a nice cold glass of eggnog Ain't nothing gonna beat it, <laughs> except you, the only way to get it in June is to make your own, and I've looked that up, and that is quite a process. And why go through all that when you can have that? So, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I don't know what else I could do to make that powder rehydrate any better. And for the, I'd say it's 99.5% rehydrated, but there are flakes in there. You can taste them. They're, it's not a bad taste. I mean, if you eat an eggnog squares, you know that they taste really good anyway. Oh, man, that tastes so good, though. Well, we'll call that a success. You guys don't judge me on that. <laughs> Uh, but I thank you for watching. I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas to you because this is going to be coming out just before Christmas. So I don't expect a lot of views on it anyway. But if you're watching this, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Freeze-dried eggnog. Cheers. <laughs>